Yeah, I know. It's like the Sony E3 conference tonight, but you know, it'd be like 2 a.m. by the time it shows over here. Yeah, I know. Well, I'll check for any news in the morning. It's probably nothing, you know, nothing of interest, you know, especially crash related. Hold my hopes up. Good night, Steve. Nice to stay with yours. Anyway. No way. It's time. And that's how I found out Crash Bandicoot came back. Not at a live conference, but through basically looking at the internet afterwards. At about 5 a.m. no less. Um, yeah, pretty excited about it, to be honest with you. Okay, so the initial reveal sent, I mean, you can watch the video, uh, the crowd go absolutely nuts. I was going nuts when I read the reveal, and kind of quickly watched the video on my mobile afterwards. But, um, there was a sort of confusion with it. I, I remember I was sort of like, <gasps> uh, but hang on, what does this mean? Because... The words Sean Layden used, see, when he came out on stage, was... We're going to bring back the original Crash, Crash 2, and Crash Warped, fully remastered from the ground up for PlayStation 4. Who knows what that actually entails? Because remaster to me means more like, you know, shining up what's already there. When you look at, say, the collections that have been on the PS3, from the Sly collection, from the Ratchet collection, God of War collection, they're just basically upscaled and, and the mud taken out of them. But he said specifically from the ground up. Now, to me, that means more like they're you know, using new assets. But that doesn't, to me, that, that's totally the opposite of what Remastered means. That's more like a remake. So I have no idea, no one does really, specifically where it's going to go. But the assumption, I guess, is that it's new assets on the exact same gameplay as before and levels to make something a bit more unique. Um, kind of similar to how Ratchet and Clank worked on the PS4, but probably less um, dramatic a change than that because that really was sort of a remake using the original designs. I don't know. Somewhere between. So that's really exciting. That's coming out 2017. Crash remasters for the PlayStation 4. And then of course the crowd sort of did a sort of silent bit because there was a, this was a double announcement you see. The, the second one being Crash being revealed in Skylanders, um, the nightmare to what is a lot of Crash fans and um, what they wanted. That's clearly what they didn't want. But for me, um, it's a good thing. It's the step, the stepping stones of, of something greater to come. It's the start of a, a longer path and a greater journey. Um, and with that, of course, it's he, he specifically said that he's cameoing in Skylanders as a sensei. So, so what this means is he is a playable character. He gets his own little figure, um, and he gets his own moves. He gets the spin attack, which has been confirmed, the slide move, um, the belly flop, and even um, he gets he did get, get a couple of punches here and there, but he even has his yo-yo as his Sky Chi ultimate move attack. So they've been very faithful to, it, to the what moves people would expect of Crash, I guess. You even can throw out TNTs, TNT crates that would explode in enemies, or you can use a spin attack on them and sort of launch them into enemies um, further afield, which is quite, again, quite faithful, using the very well-known crate formula from the Crash games and uh, expanding on it. But it's only a good thing to put Crash in this environment uh, as clearly a cameo at this stage because it, it's just sort of to get people interested, get people hyped and and make people remember what Crash. This is Crash. This is what you've, you've 
kind of been missing out on for years and this is the start of something else. I think it's to get people more invested in the remasters when they come out and if the remasters do well, well maybe another game will come, we don't know. It all depends on these stepping stones that have now been laid out by Sean Layden. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm stoked. A lot of the other Crash fans are also hyped. But there are also quite a lot that aren't too happy about the Skylanders thing. But it's not a bad thing, guys. It's actually a good thing. So, um, yeah, I mean, you'll, you'll see some gameplay here. I mean, Crash even has his, like, his idle animation is his Crash Dance. It's great to see that come back. Yeah, everyone loves the Crash Dance. I mean, hell, it was great seeing the yo-yo in there as the Scourgey move. That's something I never thought I'd see back in a Crash game. And you've got Aku Aku there in the original design, and Crash himself looks more like the Charles and Billis original design of, of what came before, but wilder and actually somehow cooler. I really like this design. I think some of the screenshots and some of the sort of angles make him look a bit ugly. Uh, I think some people have a bit of a, an issue with this. <laughs> Didn't help that his, his initial uh, reveal video, I guess, had showed him at the end of the crash dance doing that wacky face and people were like oh that was ugly uh yeah that kind of was but then that's called crash put on an ugly face at that point uh, it's still hard to say but um when you actually see him in action in the gameplay it sort of eases you, any unrest you have about him because he just looks and moves great and i think it's just some of the screens and angles that don't make him look too good that being said do like the design a lot I think the, well they sort of like, they're almost like, uh, like knuckle duster type gloves, I don't know, it's not quite as extravagant as that, but they they are gloves with sort of metal attachments, which I think give an extra sort of beef to the Crash spin punches and such, it makes sense aesthetically why they're there basically. And Crash has socks for the first time, if you're into socks, who isn't right? Socks, yeah, oh, for to get me off. Um, and Crash himself looks really cool. He's still got all of the classic stuff there. And Aku Aku is original to that too. Um, Crash even has his like life system, I noticed, um, uh, as well. Uh, and that's when, you know, it's true to form to the original Crash games, when he reaches a certain amount of health and such, he actually loses, quote unquote, a life. Um, and then dies and turns into an angel, whatever, and then returns with uh, Aku Aku there to briefly protect him for a while and say a few things. Um, from Greg Eagles, the guy who did Aku Aku from the, um, basically the Crash, well, the radical era of games, Crash Tag Team Racing onwards. Um, did he do it before? No, I think that was Crash Tag Team Racing onwards, pretty much. So Crash of the Titans, didn't really have a voice in Tag Team Racing. So yeah, Crash of the Titans and Crash Mind Over Mutant, that's not really a bad thing. He's, I think he did quite a good job. Uh, Mel Winkler was the, the guy before and he was, he was fine, he was absolutely good. Um, of course, you know, Jess Harner was also reprising her role as Crash Bandicoot. Uh, again, she was there for the Radical Games and she did a lot of the, the babbling kind of Crash. Now Crash has so far has been shown to babble a bit, um, but nowhere near as much as he did in, in Titans and Mind Over Mutant, uh, which is uh, probably a good thing, actually. I, I think it, it, it was perhaps a little too prevalent and got a little bit annoying. So I think actually from what I've seen, uh, it's a good balance, and that's great. And um, of course, this also begs the question of who else will be reprising their roles, uh, voice-wise, for characters. And you know, anything's open. Obviously, you can't have William Hootkins reprise his role Ding of Dingo Dar because he's dead. Um, so maybe get Dwight Schultz back. I don't know. Uh, but of course, there's there's all kind of manner of things. Will Nolan North reprise his role as Engine? Will Lex Lang come back as Cortex? I certainly hope they both do. I think they're both extremely expressive in the roles they, they had before. But then you, you've got all kinds of things like will Brendan O'Brien come back? And if so, which characters will he do, etc. We don't know. Um, I certainly hope some of the mainstays that have become so iconic in their voice roles will return, such as Debbie Derryberry. And personally, I think, I, I hope Lex Lang will return. Um, but it's all over there, it's all in the horizon still. It's early days, but my God, was it a powerful reveal. And even even if the, the crowd was extremely silent after the Skylanders reveal, once I watched the video for that, 
um, which is kind of funny watching it back, but it's also funny seeing some of the reactions. Um, so I'm gonna leave this here and uh, maybe link you to some of these these guys coming up. Um, so here's actually some videos of some reactions that took place. They're amazing. Some are quite hilarious. You'll know some of these guys, no doubt. And that's me, Smurz out. Take care. Shut the fuck up! Holy shit! It's fucking happening! Don't. Yeah, it's Skylanders. No, don't do this to me, please. <laughs> There's an orchestra playing not going to do a Crash music. Bandicoot game. Do you see a shadow? It. Yeah, we see it. Yeah, yeah, that's right. No t-shirt tonight, but... I'm proud to announce that we work with our partners at Activision. Not like this. We're God going to bring back the original Crash, Crash 2, and Crash Warped. Fully remastered from the ground up. Replacing Shut Crash. the fuck up! Shut the fuck up! Are you serious right now? The Bandicoot is saved. It will also appear first, though, uh, on PlayStation 4 this October in Skylanders Imaginators. Whatever, Let's bonus! We get bonus, Greg! <laughs> get down, get down! Oh my god. I'm shaking. I'm literally shaking right now. What have I got? Look, he doesn't look bad. You're gonna buy this Skylander, like I told Fuck you. Yeah. I'm buying it. But now they have everything. Take my money. <laughs> oh my god! No! No! Is it, no! Is it crap? No! Dude! Wait, that is no. a brand new. Crash! I'm fucking losing it! I'm fucking losing it! I'm fucking losing my mind! Yo! 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 I'm proud to announce! You're proud to announce! At Activision! At Activision! We're going to bring back the original Crash, Crash 2, and Crash Warped. Fully remastered from the ground up for PlayStation 4. Whoa. Okay, okay, that's nice. What? what? <laughs> One, two, three, oh, remaster. God. Rip bash, but we got three. <gasps> Crash Bandicoot will also appear first, though, uh, on PlayStation 4 this October in Skylanders Imaginators. So let's have a look at that. Oh no! <laughs> that's what they did. Yo, how does he look? Oh my god. What the fuck? Yo, he looks dope! Bruh. Oh, what the fuck? I took my pants off? Oh, 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 oh. I waited four E3s for this.